Well, there's some of you out there who are prayer warriors. Uh, you guys, you hear about something that needs to have uh, prayer. You hear about something that's happening and you just pray right away and you pray and pray and pray until you hear the results, until you hear what's going on. And that is just such a gift from God to be one of those people. But not all of us are like that. Uh, I think it's definitely something usually that comes with age and maturity, but Prayer is so important. And last night, Rosalie and I went to a prayer march, a prayer walk uh, in the city of Milwaukee, and it was one of the most helpful things uh, because it was so refreshing to pray with other believers, not just ourselves, not just people from church, but from people that had a different perspective, that had different ideas, that had different uh, walk of life. Uh, and it was so, so helpful to pray and hear what they uh, were praying to God, for them to hear what we were praying to God. And it was just a reminder that prayer is so effective and it's so important. It's such a key part of the Christian life. And the best part about prayer is that it's our connection with God. God has given us prayer to have a personal connection right now, every day while we're here on earth. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And sometimes we just take it for granted. But today I hope that you'll think about prayer. Think about how important it is, how special it is, and how life-altering it can be. As you pray for people, as you pray for families, as you pray for our nation, whatever it is you're praying for. And speaking of praying for our nation, uh, if you have some time this afternoon, uh, the NAB is hosting a Zoom call uh, talking about racial righteousness. Uh, it's a Zoom call with some of the leadership from our denomination. Uh, if you want to hop on that call, uh, the link is in the Ridgewood Weekly email. would really encourage you to check that out. Uh, join the call. I'll be there, um, and I know some other people from our church will be there as well, uh, but would really encourage you to check that out. I will link our our, uh, newsletter. Um, actually, I'm not going to link that because it has some other stuff in there as well, just for Ridgewood members. But if you're a Ridgewood member, uh, you should have gotten that email in your inbox. And uh, I would encourage you to join us that call this afternoon because I think it's going to be really, really helpful. But as we continue to pray for our families, our communities, our nations, uh, just as Pastor Kent reminded us of this past week, Titus 3 tells us we should pray for our leaders. So let's continue to pray because prayer is powerful and effective.